Hello family, I hope you all are doing well in Jesus mighty name. God bless every single one of you. The Lord gave me this word on the 12th of April, which was just yesterday. I was spending time in the night with the Lord in the word of God. And this is where the Lord led me to. The Lord led me to the book of Revelation chapter 4. And as I kept on reading and I got to verse 3, then I kept on reading kept on reading <laughs> and, and this is exactly what i heard these are your rainbow days okay i'm gonna read revelations 4 and um and then yeah so that you have an understanding praise god so revelations 4 3 to 4 is is, is the focus okay and that just simply says and the one who sat there had the appearance of jasper and ruby a rainbow that shine sorry that shone like an emerald and circled the throne right surrounding the throne were 24 other thrones and seated on them were 24 elders they were dressed in white and had crowns of gold on their heads believe it or not many of us in the body of christ that have that have suffered some strange kind of sufferings the lord is going to cause you to see rainbow days on this earth before the end of all of this, every all the craziness going on in the world. Because many people feel like, okay, well, I've suffered so much, and I feel like there's been so much delay with my blessing, and the world wants to come to an end, and Jesus Christ is coming soon, but I can't really see anything of that. You know, God promised me that. You know, Father God promised me. I'm here to let you know, the Lord just said to me, He said to me while I was in Revelations 4, as I read past that, that scripture, I heard these words. These are your rainbow days. And then I had another voice say, tell them these are their rainbow days. Okay. Now, I have no idea what the Lord is trying to say about this. But the only revelation that came to me is this. When the Lord said, these are your rainbow days, tell them these are your rainbow days. This is what came to my spirit. And, and that's what I want to give to you as well. Rainbows, they signify, to me, they signify of, they signify an end of an era and the beginning of something new. That's what I believe, number one. And then we all know that rainbows have multiple colors in them, right? And it's all these colors coming together, right? God is going to cause everything to begin to make sense for many of us. The Lord is going to bring back color into that area of your life where you feel like has been black and white for the longest time. Confusion will leave. The Lord will bring clarity. The Lord will, will you know, uh, release his children. The Lord will just cause you to enter into a beautiful, a beautiful season, a sweet season, a colorful season. God isn't just going to let, let, let you suffer and then you suffer for nothing. Okay, declare over yourself, I have not suffered for nothing. Because, yes, God has said in his word that, you know, long suffering, definitely believers have to go through some kind of long suffering. But it says after you've suffered a while, is what says in First Peter 5, 10, after you've suffered a while... That he will restore you, perfect you, settle you, and establish you, right? So for many of, of, of us in the body of Christ, you need to be reminded about this. That God, Father God is still going to bring you into a season where there's, there's going to be everything that, that is due to you should, should come to you, okay? A season of bliss, a season of colorfulness once again. Don't believe the lies of the enemy that, oh, the world is coming to an end and look at God has lied. No, God hasn't lied about anything. These are your rainbow days. Declare over yourself, even now, my suffering has not been for nothing. These are my rainbow days, or my rainbow days are upon me. My suffering isn't for nothing. Because God said, after ye have suffered a while, that's what his word says, my suffering isn't for nothing. Because God is speaking about rewarding you when he said in, five, in a first Peter 5 pen, that after you've suffered a while, it says, after you've suffered a while, the God who has called you, the God who has called you, right? into his eternal glory into his eternal um you know calling right into this blessing of being saved by christ he will restore you he will perfect you he will settle you and he will establish you okay so your suffering isn't for nothing you you, you are literally coming my god Shali Bradosa, you're coming into your into your rainbow days the lord said to me and i was thinking lord did you did you just say that lord <laughs> <laughs> did you just say that lord these are your i'm here to prophesy over somebody these are your rainbow days 
God is going to cause colors to come forth back into your life. He'll make all things beautiful again. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Ecclesiastes. He'll make all things beautiful again. Okay? He'll make it beautiful again. There are testimonies that are coming forth from, from children of God like yourself. Don't give up because you, you haven't seen yours yet. The Lord will make all things beautiful again, colorful again. I prophesy over you, child of God, in Jesus' mighty name. These are your rainbow days. These are your rainbow days in Jesus' mighty name. Have, have faith in the Lord. These are your rainbow days. These are your rainbow days in Jesus' mighty name. The devil is a liar trying to make you believe that your life is over. I know your life isn't over. I decree and declare over you. You shall not die, but you shall live. Your suffering hasn't been for nothing. Everyone type that in the comment section and declare it boldly. Declare it boldly. My suffering has not been for nothing. These are my rainbow days. These are my colorful days. My goodness. Scare that Satan. Scare that devil out of the way. Okay. And believe. Shake up your faith once again, child of God. Don't faint. Don't faint. These are your rainbow days in Jesus' mighty name. Your suffering has not been for nothing. These are your rainbow days in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God loves you too much for you to just give up on yourself. That's why he sent me to release this word over somebody. Somebody needs this word. Okay, you all, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, how loving and how awesome and wonderful that you are, our Father. We just love you and we thank you. I pray for everyone that this word is for, even right now in this hour, Father God. Would you bless this word in their hearts and let this word become flesh in their lives, O oh Lord. The ones whom their faith and their hope is down, O oh Lord. Let it come back up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every attack of Satan on their faith, on their hope, on their lives, on their promises, let it crumble in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, do as you have said, Lord, in your word in Jesus' mighty name. Let these days indeed be the rainbow days of your people. Let it be colorful days. Let them come into a colorful season once again in Jesus' mighty name. Have mercy, Abba Father. Have mercy, Yahweh. Have mercy, King of Kings, Lord. And bless your people, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Child of God, these are your rainbow days in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Exactly how Revelations 4 verse 3 has said. Hallelujah. These are your rainbow days. Believe it because that's what the Lord gave to me at 326 a.m. yesterday, April 12th. I love you all. Be encouraged. If you're new, you're welcome to Newman Government Church. My name is Glenn. I love you. Jesus loves you all so much more than I can ever do. Subscribe if you're new as well. God bless you and I'll see you all very soon. Shalom.